Welcome back to the Falcon Precap. This is what's going on for Falcon Athletics for the week of November the 17th. I'm Marcus Rodriguez. I'm Curtis Hyatt, and I hope you're ready to flap your wings, Falcon fans. <laughs> Falcon football heads to classy San Diego to take on conference opponent San Diego State Aztecs. Game time is Friday at 6.30 p.m., and you can watch it live on the CBS Sports Network. Men's basketball is going to be home this Wednesday at 7 p.m. against Colorado Christian, and then they will be home again Saturday against Western State at 2 p.m. Don't miss your chance to see the opening week of men's basketball at Air Force. Falcon Ice Hockey heads to Denver this Friday to take on DU at 7.35 p.m. You can watch it live at denverpioneers.com. Following Friday's matchup, Falcon Ice Hockey defends home ice against the CC Tigers at 7.05 p.m. Be there or be square. Sorry to interrupt your precap, but we have a special guest today. We wanted to catch up before he leaves for a national meet this weekend. I'm uh, honored to be here with Riley Coates. How you doing today? Pretty good. Excellent. Good to hear. So uh, how did you qualify for nationals, and, and what did it take this season uh, for you to earn this opportunity? Um, so last weekend, uh, I got in the uh, top 25 and was also um, one of the top four individuals at regionals that was not on a qualifying team. Um, so I got the third spot for that, so I'll be going to nationals as an individual. And uh, you ran it last year. Is this the same course or is this a different course? And did you learn anything from competing in nationals already? Um, it's the same course as last year in Terre Haute, and Indiana. And uh, last year I was with the team. Uh, learned quite a bit. The course was tough. Uh, just kind of seeing, uh, you know, getting to see it for the first time and everything. And it was really muddy and windy. And it looks like the conditions will be the same this weekend. So I'm just, uh, I'll be mentally prepared for that uh, after running that with the team last year. And uh, do you have like special shoes that you wear for meets, or do you have anything like like pregame rituals you do that prepare you for this type of situation? Um, just normal spikes, just like anybody else, just getting ready to run in the mud. Um, Pre-race stuff, I like to keep it pretty normal. Um, you know, I think it's easiest on race race day to get rid of that anxiety by just doing everything you normally do. Um, just anything I would normally do before a workout. You know, practice like you play. And uh, what's it mean for you to be a cadet and to run for Air Force? Uh, it really means a lot to me as far as uh, as our team goes in that uh, at Air Force with any sport, it's kind of tough uh, for Air Force to recruit, you know, the big time guys. Um, and we take that personally when, you know, we get recruited, but we're definitely weren't at the top in high school. And we just, you know, work our tails off till we get to that level. And, you know, it's cool that, you know, um, in high school, I probably couldn't have competed at a national meet like this. I just wasn't good enough. And now, and just with the whole team, like last year, uh, we just worked until we got to that level again and just really stepped it up. And now one final question is, how many miles do you think you've ran in your lifetime up to this point in your entire career? I literally have no idea. It's thousands of miles, but I just I couldn't even put it. Above or below 10,000? Probably around there. I don't really know. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Well, we want to wish him the best of luck as he heads to Nationals, and we'll get you back to the, uh, pre the pre-cap programming. Thank you. Volleyball closes its home matches this Wednesday at 6 p.m. against Fresno State. Don't miss your last chance to see the Lady Cadets take action. Women's basketball defends the home court this week, Thursday at 7 p.m. against Weber State. Then, this Sunday, they travel to Indiana to take on Southern Indiana University of Evansville at 2 p.m. Don't miss your chance this week to check out the ladies in action. Men's swimming and women's diving head to North Carolina at Chapel Hill to compete for the Nike Cup. They will hit the water Thursday at 9.30 in the morning. Women's swim team head out on Friday to Evansville, Indiana, to the TYL Invitational at 10 a.m. They'll be spending the weekend in the water. This Saturday, Falcon Wrestling heads to the Cornhusker State to take on opponents in the Holiday Open. Falcon Water Polo heads to L.A. this Friday to take a dip in the water for the WWPA Championships. Be sure to support your Falcon Polo team. Thanks for watching, Falcon fans. As always, you can go to GoAirForceFalcons.com for any sports-related and schedule information. Once again, this has been the Falcon... Precap!